Hello everyone and welcome to another Screaming Frog Quickfire Guide, this time on using custom extraction and the visual custom extraction feature specifically. To use this feature, just go to configuration, custom, custom extraction, and click in the bottom right hand corner, the add button, and this brings up an extractor. Now if you're familiar with XPath, CSS Path or Regex, you can input the syntax here and scrape anything you'd like from a web page. If you're not familiar with those, or you just want an easier solution to come up with the correct syntax, you can click this web page, web page button here, and it brings up a separate window, and then open up the web page that you wish to scra scrape data from. I'm going to scroll down and click on the author name, in this case, Amy Walton, and you can see it's now populated the correct expression for me in this top right hand corner and I can update the name so it's obviously author that I'm I'm scraping so I've input author there you can see the list of suggestions that we've come up with we try and pick the best one for you but if it's not picked the result that you need you can scroll through these and, and pick a different suggestion you can see in this bottom right here it's also shown a preview of what's going to be extracted both from the rendered HTML, so that's after JavaScript, and from the raw HTML, so that's before JavaScript being executed. By default, the SEO Spider will call the raw HTML unless you have JavaScript rendering mode enabled. So the reason it's useful for having both of these is that if the data was only in the rendered HTML, you'd need to update and use JavaScript rendering mode. In this case, it's in both. We don't rely on JavaScript, and so I don't need to make any changes. So I now can simply add that extractor and I'll do that and then add another example as well. So I'm now on extractor two and let's do another example. But this time, instead of from the web page itself, let's have let's extract something from the HTML. So you can click these buttons here to look at the rendered HTML or the source HTML. Now we know these are pretty much the same from my last example, but let's pick a particular piece of HTML that we might be interested in. In this case, Let's pick the publish time, which is in the HTML. Again, this is picked out some syntax, but you can see that nothing is currently being extracted. This is because the data chosen here is extract inner HTML. If I chose HTML element, it would extract the whole thing. But actually what I'm interested in here is this particular content attribute that has the date. So there is an optional attribute that you can choose here and it would select those so I can choose either property or content because there's two attributes there property and content but I'm interested in content obviously because that has the date in there so I'll pick that and then I'll update the name as well to date and click OK and so I now have my two X path set up if I click OK and then crawl and then obviously navigate to the custom extraction tab I can see data being populated so author and date. Now the reason there's two authors here is that some of our blog posts have double authors, for example, on this particular post here. So it's scraping the data that I need and obviously I can export that data just by clicking this export button. So we hope you like this feature. Do let us know if you have any questions at all. Thanks.